Hi guys, and welcome back to our Explore First Light series. I'm Tyler with Explore Scientific, a CSR rep here. Today we're gonna to talk about the AR70AZ, what to expect with this telescope, what you can see with the telescope, how to set it up first out of the package. So let's get started. So we're gonna open it up. We got one empty box, handy dandy instructions, front and back, good old pictograms. I'll get the big box out of the way once I get them all out here. So we got one box, one teensy weensy little box. And I bet this is the telescope right here. So get this out of the way. All right, we're gonna go with this box because it's probably gonna be the tripod. Now with this particular mount and telescope, it's gonna be on a fork mount or a yoke mount. It's an alt as mount <coughs> that's controlled with a central rod that you can go up, down, left, right. And I was wrong, this is the telescope, but that's okay, we're moving down the road right on along. As you can see, they do come plastic all the way around and a actual uh, paper coating around it. So don't be concerned on why you're not seeing a telescope because it's, it's under there, all masked, all masked in its glory. Here, I'm pretty darn sure, is gonna be the tripod now. Aha! Now, we have an accessory tray right here. And here is the actual mount. Again, all wrapped up in its box and glory and plastic. We'll put it together here in a second. We're just going over on what you get with every box. Now, the small box should be all the accessories. This is the fun part, ripping off this little rubber band. Now, so you'll get a normal red dot finder included with every first light product that we sell. The diagonal, which is an inch and a quarter that we get. Two eyepieces, and I believe they do come with little capsule clo capsules. This is a 20, 20 millimeter here. Put it back in, slide it over. And this one should be a nine millimeter. If I'm, yep, a nine millimeter eyepiece. Whoop, 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 whoop. And a wonderful smartphone adapter that I have no need to take out because we all know what one of these are. This will help get you into astrophotography with a dedicated eyepiece. You just slide the eyepiece in here, put the eyepiece in the diagonal, and away you go for taking your astrophotography needs. Now, let's set up. Let's get all this kind of out the way. Let's set up the actual tripod. Now I'm not gonna extend the legs all the way. There's no need to, but it gives you a basic idea on what we're looking at. This ain't gonna work. So I'm actually probably gonna have to do this on the ground so we can get a better shot. Now we're gonna set up the tripod. Now with this tripod, it does come with three individual knobs here on each leg to help extend the legs. Let's get this thing set up. We gotta tighten it back down, moving over. Tighten back down again, last one. We're also gonna discuss where to put the accessory tray next is this one's gonna be kind of tricky. So, in the accessory tray, there is a knob here that can twist off. And we're gonna twist off of here. And we go off, I'm gonna grab the tray real quick, put it right there. Then I'm gonna screw it, or secure it back to the actual tripod. And there we go. We have set up the tripod with the accessory tray. Now I'm gonna put the accessories into the tray so we know what we have and so we can go over it later. So we have our eyepieces here. Now, let's get the telescope on here. Again, with the telescope, it does come protected with a plastic sleeve and a taped sleeve as well. We never be too cautious with our telescopes here at Explore Scientific.
Now, with this particular telescope set, let me flip it over here, you'll actually come with the up, down, or the azimuth portion of it. And this is what hooks up these two knobs here go into the yoke mount itself. Now you have to do it one at a time. Please be gentle with it. Everything will be okay. And also, you have to put the metal rod into this sleeve here. Now you have to back off the center screw because it's all the way in when, you ar when it arrives. So right now, as I drop pieces, because that's part of it, I'm gonna put the yoke or the telescope into the yoke mount and I drop the other one. It's typical. Okay, so I'm gonna readjust this so everybody can see. I'm gonna put you all the way, come on. There we go. Now, now don't tighten them all the way up because you gotta get both sides, remember. And once you get both sides, you can tighten it just a little bit, give it some tension, and we got the central rod into the actual shaft of the alt as. Whoop, give it a little bit more of a tight. There we go. All right, good deal. Now we're gonna put the diagonal in. Now the diagonal as well is a 45 degree and it comes pre-wrapped. All of our stuff comes pre-wrapped in the Explorer First Light series. And we're also gonna undo our red dot finder and get it set up as well. <clears throat> all right, so all of our telescopes come with a little plastic cap. We'll take off here, we'll put our diagonal in. I'm sorry if I said 45 degree diagonal, it's actually a 90 degree diagonal. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Okay, now we're gonna put our red dot finder in. It's just a little click bracket in there. And we're gonna put our eyepiece in. And there we go. Now on our red dot finder, it's got an on off switch here. The battery compartment is right here and it always comes with a little pull tab. Now you have to pull the tab to get it operation. It just keeps the tab or it keeps the battery from running down while it's being shipped. Now to actually align it, there is a up down here and on the other side is the left right. Now you will align this during the day, the red dot finder with the main objective. It's easier to, doing it, easier to do it during the day on a stationary object than it is to do it during the night when the stuff's always moving. It's a pain in the butt and it's a hassle. So I always recommend doing these during the day. So now we're gonna tighten these down once more, tighten down our yoke. And if you wanna keep it from swinging back and forth, we're just gonna simply tighten this little bolt right there. She's stationary. Now all we do, let me loosen it back up. Again. And now what we can do is we found our object in the sky. Now we just simply follow it by twisting this little silver knob and it just goes down or we go up. And again, if you just want to adjust it some more, just loosen here. I put a bear grip on there. There we go. And now we can actually adjust it a little further up in whichever way we wanna go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. So now we are going to actually talk about some individual eyepieces that will benefit you in your telescope fun. With the holidays approaching up, it's always a great idea to get more eyepieces for your telescope kit. These are our 52 degree series. We have a 4.5 at 52 degree series, and we should have a 20 millimeter at 52 degree series. These are great additions for these telescopes or any telescopes in your arsenal. 
Again, my name is Tyler, a CSR rep here at Explore Scientific. Clear skies and keep looking up. Thank you.